Hello students. Today we are going to do 1.4 that is big data, big insights. So along with this chapter which is in the prose section of your textbook, I have taken an example of mind mapping for you which will help you to understand the chapter better as well as get one of the examples of mind mapping for practice. So I hope that you like this video, like, share and subscribe. So let's begin with our chapter Big Data, Big Insights. So the title itself tells you that it is Big Data and Big Insights. Now what do you mean by insights? Is the awareness or the understanding. The moment you get some chunk of information, you try to analyze it, you try to study it. You try to find out some solutions out of it, some alternatives out of it. So this is why big data. Now what is that big data? Is the data of your personal information uh, and trying to connect it to the city, to the world and to everything which is related to you. So ultimately you are the center through which the data is collected and been utilized to in various Take for example in medical uses, um, fashion industry, they utilize education industry, they utilize your data, whatever you do and it is happening all through your phone. So let's begin with a chapter. What is big data? The entire summary of the chapter has pointers to it and I have shared the uh, mind map of in that everything is included if you want to understand the chapter you can take help of mind map which will help you to remember the pointers of the chapter okay so what is big data so they say that every pursuit everything you do like you post a post on facebook or instagram or whichever social media platforms it is recorded they try to study the data and the pattern of what you do, what you like, what you don't like and everything. And according to it, they collect data and they provide the information. They try to suggest things which you like, which you do not like, they will not show you. Okay, but they will try to convince you. So basically, this is a marketing technique also you can understand. Hmm? So the data has been collected and counted in pexabytes or exabytes. So it is really, really huge. So now huge, another synonymous word for huge, the better word for huge could be colossal. C-O-L-O-S-S-A-L. -S so you can use this word in your writer. There's one more word which is already there in the chapter itself. It is gigantic. G-I-G-A-N-T-I-C. So this word can also be used in this data and this uh, chapter to be utilized uh, while writing the answers. You can also use these words in your writing skills. So then you can say that big data analytics, now this is the most expensive thing in the world other than gold and diamond. Data is the most expensive thing. Don't you agree with me? Yes. Then let's continue that uses of big data. They have mentioned that why the data has been collected. So to get the information. Then uses of big data. It is used for location tracking. The GPS system where your goods are. The, the, the you can say the online portals wherein they have, you know, they sell the products. So they use this tracking option, where is your product reach, when it will be delivered to you. If it is delivered, they will say that your product isn't delivered to your place. So this is helping, especially when the cargo ships are in the middle of the sea. So it becomes easy for them to track that where is that located. So GPS systems have helped immensely to improve the logistics company reduce the risk in transport, improve the speed of delivery and the reliability. Okay, so reliability means you can depend upon it. Then next is weather patterns. Now to understand the weather patterns, it is really important to have the satellites roaming all around the earth. So they try to understand the climatic conditions, the change in the climatic conditions and through that data collected continuously every second of it the data has been collected 24 by 7 so they study 
when the earthquakes are going to come in which area the earthquakes so in this area then gps tracking uh, weather patterns so this is all inter uh, interconnected or interlinked you can say so it ha you know it it helps us to combat them to have the precautionary measures taken on time and to save our lives ultimately okay so then next is the uses of data are uh, you know the data also used in uh, you know the healthcare industry for that matter so you have this kind of smart watches it will also calculate your steps walked throughout the day it calculates your hours of sleep it calculates your breathing pattern your heart rate and everything so don't you think that is isn't it this is smart watch and definitely it helps you yes so it helps you to understand and track how much you have walked how much you need sleep and blood pressure and so on and so on so there are so many smart data is coming up every time every every week there is new update in the data there is new update in the technological aspect and hence the collection of the data becomes more and more feasible and the usage of data becomes more easy the next is uses of data in banking finance and trading it helps them to uh, you know it helps them to track the cyber crimes the atms and everything to track your account your expenditure your uh, you know they will also help you guide you that you are spending your money in so and so which is not necessary you can invest your money in somewhere else which gives you more returns and all it is only possible through the collection of the data they don't use their six sense okay they use only data to analyze 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 further and get into the personal choices and preferences to convince them to change it are you understanding i hope that you are with me i'm not going too fast okay so then it is uh, the next point which is mentioned is sports yes definitely the sports person doesn't have to just practice practice and practice it is very important to analyze the performances of other team players or the opposite opponents the opposite team players then only they know the strategy to be utilized for winning the game everybody is good everybody is the best player but it depends that at that moment what kind of strategy you use for that opponent player to get the winning side of your choice okay then it is also used in advertising definitely so to give an example advertising uh, how advertising is changing you know they are believing in the societal uh, you know change happening they in, like the best example i remember is share the load uh, hashtag share the load advertising so they collect the data that yes women are being <laughs> troubled that they have to manage the household thing and the office things so they have come up with this advertising techniques so they provide they collect data they analyze it they mend it according to their usage their importance and then they provide it in return to the same place okay then entertainment and media definitely so if you imagine that nowadays the movies which are coming up with the new topics and new perspectives so it is only possible through when they collect the data from the society they try to analyze that what kind of stories could be woven or you can say uh, viewed around that society has to be reflected in the movies so they collect the data they analyze it again and they utilize in their movies now coming to the education industry yes even they collect data for example uh, you for example a 3 year old child has taken admission the parents have taken admission in the play school so the uh, the normal schools no conventional schools they collect data from the preschooling people coaching classes collects data from every school and everywhere and they try to connect to them to get more admission to get attracted that way okay and also the new course is coming up the new likings coming up of a student so they come up with a new course new syllabus new patterns new techniques and all okay so big data is convenient to understand their choices and also they come up with a very good results so here we end up with this chapter and then the last concluding point what they have mentioned is we have innumerable uses of data 
So you cannot count the use of data. It is just that you should know how to utilize the data at the optimum level. It is helpful to do the scientific research, geographical conditions, smooth working of the government machinery, everything for that the data is utilized. Okay, so it is like a genie in our hands. At the end, they have mentioned that this big data is like a genie in our hands. It lies in our hands to make the optimum use of it for the benefit of mankind. So here the chapter ends. And I hope that I've given you a proper kind of summary to just understand the chapter. And you can also refer to my image, which is, uh, you know, placed in the video. And you can just revert it back. I hope that you like this video. Please put the comments so that I can understand that what extra you need for your practice. And I'm always there happy to help you all. Be successful. Be more loving towards this subject. Because this is not just a subject but a language to fall in love with. So I hope you fall in love with this language. Because it is going to make you win always. So love English. Take care and enjoy this video.